Greetings, everyone. It is I, Kikoskia, welcoming you a little later than normal to a stream. The pre-stream, to be exact, where you have the opportunity to get here, get comfortable, and get ready for some dwarf. Hello, Hobo. Hello, Mr. Dark. Hello, Traden. How are you all today? Yeah, a couple minutes late, as is the norm. 5,000 million things decided to show up the moment I went, hey, I'm just going to do my final prep for stream. How are you all? I hope you are all doing well. Today I'm celebrating being old. Ah, you're only as old as you feel. And considering my ears, I feel ancient. Happy birthday, hobo. Hope you're having a good one. So, this is the stream end. It's right there. No problem. No problem. Hello, Clouth! How are you today? I finished doing a thing today, and that thing was, uh, painting up some stuff. At least I, I very much hope that I, uh, I finished doing that thing. So! The stream end? It's over- no, that was the last stream ending. Gay. Ay, the last stream ending. So, we have our situation here. Hello, Shield of Hope. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well this day. I don't know whether I should have glued these things onto this base right now, but I've done it. So, that was a long stream then if it just... <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, we have various situations here. Um, also, it is hot. I really want to go and set up the fan, so actually give me a moment while I go and set up the fan. It's hot in here. This is truly Tangy's stream now. Nay, it is mine. How are you all? Sorry, sorry. I had to set up the fan. It's quite warm in here. Also, I have to pour myself a refreshing glass of beverage. Which may help with the war- It's really warm. Like, this room is sun-facing all day, and it's just been warm. Not that kind of level of warm, but warm. So... What happened last time? Well, what happened last time is that we have a trap corridor here and a trap corridor there. Indeed, indeed, Farsight. And we're making a trap corridor here. We're just going to make trap corridors, like, everywhere. That's generally what we're doing. We're going to funnel the enemies in. We also have boxes here that are full of nothing. Except bars. So you could say the stream is a trap. I mean, could be. Probably isn't, but it could be. So we have a lot of platinum bars here. Just a lot of platinum bars. For these magma smelters, just for like steel stuff. Got a question on your not current streaming? Uh, you got five characters on the couch. One of them I recognize the avatar is Edna. Who are the other three? Um, there's Raina, there's Sparkle, and there's Alice. Raina is from Albion. Alice is from Fantasy Star 4, and Sparkle is from Stonekeep. There you go. Those are the three. We'll 
Also, I don't know what that's doing there. Just need to move these over to there if I can. There we go. Ah, I thought one might be Raina. Yep, Raina, Raina, Sparkle, and Alice. So, we are currently on the first of Granite. It is early spring. We have 123 dwarfs. 56 of which are slightly happy. 21 of which are pretty happy. 8 of which are superbly happy. 21 are eh, 10 are meh, 4 are mm, and 2 are very mad. The 2 that are very mad are my Swordmaster and my Clothier. Hello there, Notarogei. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. I hope you're doing well. Doing better than you? Oh no! Get well soon. I hope you get well soon. So yeah, we have a lot of neat stuff happening. We have... We finally declared the temple as an actual temple, by the way. It, it, it wasn't a temple up until now. Now it's a temple. And I was thinking of getting some dedicated temples built over time. Like just a couple of, of, of smaller temples. So that we can do like temple-y stuff. As you do. Always said I wanted to get well soon, but you realize how much work it is to get a well? I mean... I say get well, not get a well. Semantics, it's important. So they're busy engraving all of that. Um, interestingly, we are getting to the point now where we're starting to run out of reasonable room for stuff. That said, we have a lot of spare bedrooms, so it's all all right. Also, you sound pretty loud there, fan. Hang on. You can't hear that, can you? I hope you can't hear that. Because if you can, I'll turn it off. I'd rather you didn't hear that. So we are preemptively going to get another one of these sorted. Because we do want another set of these. Like so. This is when no one tells me if they can hear this. I only ever turn my volume to max and your, your voice, normal voice hurts my eardrums. That sounds encouraging. The fact that you can only hear it when that happens. Nope, no discernible fan sound. That is good. That is good. The effect on it is, uh, negative. The food situation is great. The drink situation in the hand is fine. Like, we are... Why can't you mine that? Oh, that's because it's a wall! Okay, that's because it's a wall. That makes sense. It's a wall. Baby God demands more ale. Well, they're always making more ale. So don't worry. More ale is always being created. It's always being brewed. You don't need to worry about that. There will always be more ale. Speaking of ale and various stuff, how is the statue situation going? The answer is... That's a legendary statue! Woo. Mayhem. And that is a sub from Tizzle Alley there! 33 months and a 33 month streak. Thank you ever so much, that is so kind of you, thank you! And remember, if we manage somehow to get to, uh... Mayhem. 520 Yippee. Twitch sub points. One more there from Tiny Train. 41 to 41 month streak. We'll do a playthrough of the uh, lovely games that are Action 52 
on stream. We'll do it. I'll do it. There will always be more ALTM. Yeah, there'll always be more because we'll always keep brewing it. That's the important thing. We'll, Mayhem, we'll just keep brewing. Oh! There's Clouds gifting five subs there. Thank you ever so much. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you. That truly is kind. Thank you. Also, I missed a spot there. Unfortunate, but what can you do? What can you do? So we can do eventually uh, expand all these bedroom areas. There's a lot of beds there, but uh, at some point we're going to need more. I mean, we could also just put beds here at some point. Huh. That's actually not a bad idea either. We could put bedrooms here. I like that plan. I like that plan a lot, actually. But just more bedrooms here seems like a really sound bit of thinking. And they're not far away from the main workshops either. Hmm. Like that, and then... Okay, I can see this working as a plan. So, we're in the middle of, well, just the start of spring. Which means there's a pretty good chance that the elves are going to turn up, considering there are allies, apparently. Like, this is encouraging. Them being in an alliance with us? Thumbs up on that. The less enemies we have, the better off we are. I won't complain. Also, look at all of that there. Yeah, we don't want to dig into that. Also, how are these doing? We have unclaimed, unclaimed, claimed by a hen, claimed by a hen, claimed by a hen, claimed by a hen. Hmm. I feel like these hens are not doing very well at claiming the right box. I mean, the duck has that one. That's important. The duck's got to have that one. The duck has to have one. We are 100% that... Yeah, we are. We, we, we saw it in the... Um, we saw it in the timeline that didn't exist. They're birds. And birds use... use um, nest boxes. Chickens are not known for their brilliance. This... This is very true. Chickens are indeed not known for their brilliance. Many of the accomplishments of man have not been achieved by chickens. In fact, you could say that all of the accomplishments of man have not been achieved by chickens. Otherwise, they would be the accomplishment of chickens. So, obvious statement is obvious. But you know what isn't obvious? They are known for being delicious, this is true. The other thing we need to do, though, at some point, is we need to find the next set of caverns. And I feel that at some point, the next set of caverns will be reached, and, and it might be painful. Intelligent chicken, I mean, there are movies about that. I'm going to dig down like that as well. We're going to going to see what happens. You're apparently uh thirsty? Well, there's more drink than you could possibly imagine in the pub. Also, this pub needs a couple more goblets. Uh no, it actually requires 40 goblets. And to ensure that we have the right number of goblets, we're going to put some boxes down. Some very fancy boxes. Like so. Ah. It's nice to have a fortress that isn't just, like, collapsing in on itself. It's nice. 
it makes me happy knowing that we don't have disaster awaiting at every single turn. Many of the accomplishments of man have not been achieved by... T this is very true. Thank you for the quote. That is, quote, 290, I might add. That is the 290th quote. Also, at some point, we just want to dig through this, too. Just, you know, dig in there. We haven't, uh... We haven't detailed that, which is good. We detailed a lot of other things, though. They have, however, been done by ants, depending on the accomplishment. That... The, I suppose you're right there. I suppose you're right there. Also, I actually have a cool, refreshing beverage that is actually cold, if you can believe that. It's cold. Also, there is a, a body. It, the mangled vomit. The mangled vomit is here. Good old mangled vomit. Oh boy! I mean, look at all... All the drinks are here. They're all very... Very well appointed, all the drinks. What is the death count so far? Uh, death count so far is... Um, Deagle. Mad Steve. Uh, Zogti. A bear. And Asno. So, three people and a bear. And a couple dogs. We're not that bothered about the dogs. The dogs, after all, were not pets. So, we're fine with that. Also, the death count is much lower in this timeline. Yes! In this timeline, it is much smaller. Oh, we have an animal has become a stray boar. You've heard rumors. We dug up some... St oh, we're finding some nice stuff here that we are. There are some nice treasures being located. And I like treasures. Also, just smooth these out at some point. So that we can put statues there. In fact, just... Just smooth out all of this, honestly. Smoothing is good. Makes the place look presentable. So that's all being smooth. Strangely enough, a creature made of zinc was easier to defeat than one made of flesh. True, but then again, the one made of flesh only really fought one person. And then they died. So your mileage may vary on, on whether they were actually a threat or not. I don't know. What I do know is we do need to make more traps. Um, we've got some good mechanisms here. We don't have many items. Ooh, we do have some large serrated copper discs, though. They can absolutely be used here. So we'll use them. We're finding lots of nice things. Lots of nice things. Got a nice little smooth area. We'll also get these corner areas engraved so that we don't have problems there because when they getting when they get uh, statues by them, it ends up blocking things, which is awkward. So once you've done smoothing, we're just waiting, buying some time for the elves. Buying some time for the elves, who are coming, and I'm very pleased to see them. I know most other people wouldn't be pleased to see them, but I'm really pleased to see the elves. Like, I'm really happy the elves are coming. Ooh! Damp stone there! Huh. Well, you're gonna have to mine here, and I, I suppose we have to wall this area off. Uh, looks like this one's only going to have nine rooms. Wow. 
An interesting development there. I'm going to put a legendary statue there, because if everyone passes a legendary statue, that's good. It's good for morale. That is the bathhouse. Nope, that is the we are not putting anything there house. We are absolutely not having something there. Okay. Are there any honeybees on the map? There are bees. Um, there's bumblebees. Um, there's... Um, bumblebees. Bumblebees. Um, camels. Honeybees. There are some honeybees here. So we do have some honeybees. Okay. We could... We could do something with that. Could make a hive. A green glass hive. I, I've never done bumble... Like, bee tending before. I don't know what's involved with beekeeping. Do you have to do it on the surface? That's an interesting question. Does it have to be done on the surface? Let's make some large serrated, by the way. Green glass discs. We'll make 10, so long as we have less than a hundred green glass discs. Finally completed your biology course? Good news! Good news. Drinks from plants, we're back up to 560 drinks. So these will fill up with, with cups at some point. Green glass disc have very low durability now. Spike balls are better. Yeah, but... Eh. I'm going to sell them predominantly. I'm not using them to, like... Buy them. I'm, do I'm just selling them. They're a nice thing just to sell. Oh, oh, oh! Elk bird eggs. <laughs> this nest box is claimed by stray elk bird trained. I'm gonna save. That could mean baby elk birds. And if we get elk birds that are born with partial training, if we train them, they then become tame. And then we can have a population of tame elk birds. And that seems like a worthy thing to do. That seems like a very good thing to do. We have struck egg! And you're not wrong, we have indeed struck egg. Also, I'm going to have some fun tomorrow going through the, uh, the codex. Well, not the codex, the, um, the data sheets for the space marines. Because, uh, relic terminators still exist, apparently. But... They can't have Chlorum Bolta. They can, however, have... The Sergeant can still have their Plasma Blaster. And maybe I can get, like, a Reaper Auto Cannon from somewhere for the, uh... The Flamer Dude. Maybe. A Dancer is visiting. But not in the same way as I say, um, Deus. They, they can't have, um... Bolta Claw. They can't have Bolter Claw anymore. Uh, they have to have either Bolter Fist, Bolter Chain Fist, or Claws. You can't mix and match um, Claw Bolter. That has changed. Also, Contempt of Dreadnoughts is still a thing, but but not 
relic contempt of dreadnoughts? So... Eh? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I never know what's going on. Look at all this magnetite. We should... That's platinum. We, we should mine that right now. Mine that right now. That's good. Also, how much steel do we have? Steel bars. 22 steel bars. Okay. So, we have 15 breastplates. And 15 shirts. Uh, 30 pieces of footwear. 20 gauntlets. So we need 5 gauntlets and 5 helms. Five greaves. So five. Ga hang on. Five gauntlets. What good to platinum? It's valuable. So five gauntlets. Five helms. And five greaves. Should get what I have of my, like, squad of hammerers. Fully equipped in steel. Oh! The elves are here! We're always friendly with the elves! The elves are good. We like the elves. The elves are great trading partners. We offer them many wonderful things. Humans are good too, but the elves can bring us great gifts. Bountiful gifts. Hopefully they bring unicorns. That's what I want. I want them to bring a unicorn or two. Or a giant elephant. A pair of giant elephants would be good. Then we could breed them. Then we could get war elephants. War giant elephants. That sounds like a fun plan anyway. Move goods. Uh, finished goods is fine. Finished goods is fine. Finished goods is fine. Um, I mean, honestly, we're probably gonna have more than enough stuff in the finished goods to please the elves. Depending, of course, on what they bring. But we have a lot of finished goods. Actually, most of our wealth's in weapons. But we do have these boxes! That contain nice things. Yeah, that'll probably do. The elves never bring a wagon, by the way. The elves always bring pack animals. Because, you know, wagon will be made of wood. So what... Are you bringing? The Elven Caravan claims it's arrived. Here they are. Happy Elves. So, how do... We'll do the trading and then we'll wonder about the hives. So they've started unloading their goods. It's not going to take them that long. I see a couple of cages. I'm also quickly going to see if there's any other elk sitting on egg. Oh, those are hen eggs. Okay, never mind, those are hen eggs. They brought a pedestal. That could be quite useful. While we're unloading stuff, let's think about getting a few doors on some of these. Actually, what we really want is some smoothing to start happening in a moment. Like, like this. Just, just start smoothing all of this. Not that, though. Just smooth that. This. That. That. That all that. And this. And that. Just just smooth it all. It'll keep people busy. Busy dwarves are happy dwarves. <laughs> Literally. 
By the way, I'll see you later, Trade, and I imagine you've gone already, but... Oh! The Diplomat has arrived! Okay. The Diplomat's here. There they are. They're gonna have a meeting. And then we'll talk about stuff. I'm kind of hopeful about this meeting. No, I'm, I'm hopeful about this meeting. Alright. This meeting's probably going to be good. We have much to discuss. Whatever possessed you to brave these wilds, where our animal friends are even larger than your kind than usual, we do not know. But this land is sacred to us, these trees more than any others. Although we are loath to spare a single branch to your senseless slaughter, which I've not done, by the way, we are willing to ask that you cap your tree fells to five until next we meet. I will try to return next year if I am able, and beware. I will grant your request. Let us discuss the situation. Yeah, but we're not cutting down any trees. We can part with at most seven trees, Butcher. Well, we can abide by this. Let us work towards mutual coexistence. This seems good. Like... Fungus trees count as trees. They didn't when we fir had our first meeting with Taranag. When we had our first meeting, they proclaimed that we had chopped down no trees. So I don't think they count as trees. They were like, you've not cut down a single tree. So we will find out when I chop down an experimental tree. Suffice it to say, we don't need to worry about this because we literally have hundreds of logs. Like, we literally have hundreds of them. It should be fine. Like, I'll, I'll show you just how good our situation is when it comes to, to logs. So we just save. Maybe it's changed? We're not in a bad log situation here, though. There are 489 logs. I think we're good. <laughs> For now. Alright, what do you have? You have a bear. You have a bunch of barrels I want. I'll definitely buy the bear, I'll buy the buzzard, I'll buy that, I'll buy all your instruments. Those are amazing, I'll buy them. Hello, Dark Jade. Yeah, fortress is alright. I'll buy all of your buckets. I will buy... I'll buy your cloak and your robes. Uh, thank you very much there, Final Fantasy. I'll also buy your hoods and your gloves. And your mittens. I'll also buy... Your leaves and fruits. And I'll buy your altar. Why not? So, what can I trade with you? The answer is, I can trade a ton of this. Like, I'm just going to empty all these boxes. Of pretty much all that they have. Because I made all this stuff to be disposable sail fodder. So that's exactly what it is. Disposable sail fodder. Don't give them any of the elk bird stuff though. That will make them mad. So elves are touchy about trees. Uh, Yeah. They're also touchy about animals too. Like I couldn't trade them this cave toad amulet. Without them getting mad. Okay. I could trade them all this, though. Traders are still making a loss at the moment, though. But that's fine. we got lots of stuff we can trade them. And I mean a lot of stuff we can trade them. 
There we go. Does seem to specialize in scepters. That's because I, st I told them to make scepters, honestly. I said, make scepters. That's a good claystone one. Scepters and swords. Don't trade that one to them. They don't want that one. That one is a bad one. We're not trading with elves, are we? Of course we are. Elves are great. We think they're amazing. Uh, gotta be a little careful here. Um, none of that. Trade them this. They have stuff! I want the stuff. What can I say? They have stuff? Do we even have access to shells? I mean, we're in the middle of a desert. Where you picked a wooden crutch to sell. Did I? Where? Good call. But! Yeah, tunnel tube. It prob they probably wouldn't yippee. like that. There's Tyrant with 23 months. Thank you ever so much. That is so kind of you. Thank you. That's why I make trades, uh, saves before I trade with the elves. Just in case I trade them something bad and then I can reload. Because misclicks can happen. Oh, there's a lot of elk bird stuff. But, we also have a lot of not elk bird stuff. Like all these crowns and goblets and this crown here and... That scepter that's worth three grand. We're not giving you that scepter. We'll save the... Oh, not that. Oh, did elves suddenly went to... <coughs> you cut trees. We well, don't have a single tree. Yeah, they did. No, actually, they said, Ooh, let's sort out a thing. Pouch of gold. Thank you very much there, Spook. 200 bits. Thank you. Now, because we're now a barony, they want to impose a limit on our ability to chop down trees, d despite the fact that we have no trees. They're very particular about this. They do sell cool animals. They sell really cool animals. Okay, we're in, we're in green trading here. Ah, we traded them something wrong. They got very mad with us. We traded something wrong. I don't know what it was we traded, but we traded something incorrectly. We probably accidentally clicked a thing. I don't know what it was. You know what we... Crocodile Bone Crown, that'll do it. You know what, we'll do it faster. We'll just trade them high-value goods. That's what we'll do. We'll just trade them high-value goods. It's alright, most of the stuff we're just clicking and trading everything, so it's not going to take very long to get back to where we were. Hoods. Mittens. Or gloves, mittens. I'll trade them too. Something is decorated? Nope. Um, they don't default decorate with leather, actually. They tend to decorate... I've only said to encrust things with gems. You have to specifically tell them to encrust with items. So, I've only ever told them to encrust with gems. So, it'll never be that. I'll buy your crutches, too. Right, we're going to make this a little easier. We're just going to trade them extremely high-value items. Uh... That aren't made of animal. Okay, so... If any at all. Sure, we can, we can abide by that. Let's find, like, the super valuable items. Um, There are none in here. None in there. There's a book. Uh, we also have that that we just have. That's an elk bird thing. It's 2,000. We can't trade you that because it's elk bird. Um, I know I have valuable things. I saw them. I saw a thing that was three grand. Do I have minted coins? I don't want to minimum coins. Uh, there we go. That's a thousand. So that's a good start. That's 800. That's a good start. That will do it. So if I remove the shale crown here, and then I just start giving you these until we get to that. Pow. You are very happy with the trading. 
Easy peasy. And in fact, you can have this as a gift. You are too kind. There we go. Done. Easy. All I need to do is take all these bins back. And we didn't trade anything that was awful. That's really what I should do. I should just trade the elves, like, a couple of very valuable items. Just makes it a lot easier. And there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was, uh... That was me having it just slide over. Right. So, we have a couple more animals that we're going to put in here. Uh, a buzzard, a horse, and a bear. Not the rodent man. Could you set up a finished goods bin just for the elves? I could, but I won't. Because, eh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I just made an accidental slip up, but I should actually save. By the way, the save command is something that we can now, um, we can now sort out. Also, we can now test whether fungus trees count as trees for the purposes of chopping down trees. Because if they do, we have a pretty harsh limit. But I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be alright. We have a lot of wood. We can keep asking the dwarfs for wood. They can just bring wood. Wood's extremely cheap. So, let's go down into the depths and tell someone to chop down a tree. And see what happens. As long as we don't go over the limit, it'll be fine. So if we tell someone to chop down this tree as our one priority, like chop down that tree. Ah, see we have uh, the mole dogs there and dead. <coughs> No more mole dog shenanigans now. They just die. Instantly. Is there a mushroom tree? Yep. That's a mushroom tree. Yeah, mole dogs don't get it. Oh, migrants! We have migrants. We also have a baby. Oh no, that's a lot of migrants. That That's a lot of migrants. Oh no! That's a lot of migrants. That that's a lot of migrants. That's th the more coming. More. Oh no! Are we done? No, we're not done. More migrants are coming. MORE MIGRANTS ARE COMING! MORE MIGRANTS! Right! I think we're done? Ooh. That's... That's a lot of migrants! That's a lot of migrants. Some of them have already started doing stuff, by the way. We have loads of unnamed people. So, we have a miner, a child, a fisher dwarf, a ranger, an animal dissector, an engraver, a glazer, a farmer, a beekeeper. A beekeeper here? We have a lot of people. Huh. Well, Ooh, a pouch of Thank gold. you very much, Tyrant. That's 200 bits. That's so kind of you. Also, Deus, uh, do you mean Fingers and Winkle made the return? Maybe. So, someone did redeem Name a Dwarf, and that would be Tyrant. So, let's pick one of the unnamed dwarfs. We'll pick, um. 
this miner out of gold. So Tyrant, what are we naming the miner? They're a novice miner. They're pretty rubbish at it. Now nah, there's just a sing song happening in the in the uh, in the tavern. It's a good thing we decided that we oh they brought so many animals with them. Craven, all right. Like they, oh, that, that's Craven, not Craven. They brought so many animals with them. Okay. Are there any exclamation mark names before we start here? Are there any exclamation mark names? There is! So let's do these one at a time. Alright, so the Fisher Dwarf here is going to be... Uh, testing, don't click. Well, too bad. We clicked and... You're a person now. All right, the ranger next. Is there anyone else? Uh, yes! We have Iron State Strong Hammer. You're also not a very good uh, trapper, but we do have, you know, we do have you there. So, next person is an animal dissector. Uh, also, Tyrant gets to just, you know, get that there. <laughs> they, they, they sneak in with the second person. Because sneaky. Also, we have this glazer. Ooh, this glazer's really good. Alright, now we have... Unless people redeem named off, I'm gonna make a fingers and a winkle. This is alright. Your fingers... Gotta make Fingers and Winkle. Gotta put Fingers and Winkle back in here, alright? And we have Winkle. I mean, I put them in there. We'll put them in there. So we do have some free slots. Do have a couple of free slots. Uh, got some peasants. Name the dwarf. Alright, Tiny Train. What we naming a dwarf? The stone cutter here. Who are they gonna be? We we might have to extend the military in um the hammerers. Sadwick, oh no. Oh Sadwick. Will Prince Pafu make it to us too? I don't know. I mean that's technically blount, so you know. That's technically blount. Alright, we have a peasant here. Who wants to be this fearless peasant? Apparently Nerd King wants to name a peasant. This peasant may end up in the military. Opportunistic, opportunist dwarf, okay. Alright, we have opportunist dwarf. Seems good. We also have Deus naming a dwarf. Um, we got a couple more dwarfs. We got a mechanic kit, but I mean, it makes perfect sense that this mechanic is Batman. Clearly, there you go. We have Batman now. We cannot possibly lose. Oh, uh, well, we know who Murph's gonna be. This child. This child is Murph, alright? I knew someone would name Murph eventually. Alright. Harsey, we got a bone carver here. I mean, bone carvers are really popular in this fortress because they're great for the military. They're really good for the military. They're not that good for the military. Actually, they might be. So, what we getting, Mr. Mega Harsey? What's. what's. a pair? Alright. I got it. Right, who else have we got left? We have another peasant. This peasant's pretty good. He's a loner, though. We can have Raramead. We'll just have Raramead. There we go. You don't need a redemption for that one. Uh, we also need... 
Um, a siege engineer, wow. And a stone crafter. You're a very good stone crafter. Ooh. Got to think about a name now. Um, I mean, we're just going to have Bob. Bob. Bob seems pretty good. Um, we're, we're also going to have... Um, Bobacus. Um, we're also going to have, um, <clears throat> Bobatus. Anybody else that doesn't have a name right now? Uh, there's a lot of people. Someone lost their name because they're a high sword master. This is going to happen a lot, it seems. You have a lot of people that just don't have names at the moment. Because they just lost their names. This is kind of unfortunate. It is a weird bug. But we are losing named people because they're getting involved in combat. Like, literally, we have a swordsman who doesn't have a name. Is he one of the injured ones? No. Um, I have no idea. Did you killed anyone? Uh, you killed a rodent man and and lots of other stuff. Um, I don't know who you are. Um. Well, um, f for the time being, th here's Tim, the sword dwarf with no name. I mean, we, 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 we could do that, but the problem is there are so many people who don't have names. Oh, yeah, he's now the dwarf with no name. Loads of people just don't have names anymore. We'll see what happens with them. Maybe when we get the next huge load. Oh, yes, also, um, lots of animals need to be stabled. Otherwise, they'll die. I mean, we have a cow right now. And some mules. And... They'll die if they don't get stabled. That'll die. That'll die. I mean, they won't die, but I'm still moving them. Um, so they're all going to get moved. Also, we've made steel gauntlets, steel helms. How many other steel things do we need to make? Because once we've done this... How many silver war hammers do we have? Ten. Oh, that's good. We already made ten. Oh, there's a mole dog. It, it died horribly. And that one died horribly. This thing is amazing. It just prevents mole dogs being a problem. Just prevents them being a problem. Okay, could someone, like, be a woodcutter? Like, kind of urgently. Like, who is good at woodcutting? You're good at woodcutting. You know what? You just do woodcutting. I want to experiment. No, because it's heavy. It's heavy. And, that, and that's why it's good. Good for that. You're apparently cutting gems. C could you not? I want you to cut... To chop wood? You want to... No. That's an entire troop of people. We don't want a troop of people. Can you... Okay, apparently you have nothing to do. I'm pretty sure one of the things you could be doing... Is... No, they don't. Uh, I don't think... Uh, it's just wait. 
Let's make an iron... An iron battle axe? Wait, is that what your arm... What is Kokoskia armed with? You're armed with a copper battle axe. Okay, so if you make an iron battle axe or two, you can then chop down this tree. Because I really want to see what happens if you chop down that tree. It's kind of important that we chop down that tree. Also, we have still not found, like, any sign at all of Cavern Lair 2. We don't know where Cavern Lair 2 is. We know where it's not. The Crested Guild, a Stoneworker Guild, has been established. Well... Looks like we got another guild of people that are about to be like, Hey, can we can we have a guild? And I'm like, I suppose we, we did make these places here. We can we can totally make a guild for you. Let's actually uh get started on putting some doors on these. How are we doing, by the way, for rooms? Okay, rooms haven't been claimed by people yet. They will be claimed. Yep, it's Friday, which means dwarfs. It means dwarfs. How's it going? It's, it's going fine. No one's died. The elves traded. We're in a decent situation. We're waiting for the next horrible thing to happen that will inevitably happen and, and kill us all. You know, same old, same old. We're trying to find Cavern there too. We're also trying to find riches beyond compare. I'm putting these in the wrong place. My construction routine actually had me putting the beds in the bottom area. Why are those rooms shaped like that? Uh, why not? Which room are you referring to, specifically? I shaped them like this, so I have an optimal amount of space for, uh, for dwarfs. The lowest two, uh, one of them is a room that doesn't exist, and the other room is shaped like that because... Damp stone. I'm just not bothering to work around it. I'm just damp stone. Don't want to deal with it. Ooh! Oh! Native gold! Ha! Yeah! Auto that, please! Do that right now! Native gold? Yep, yep. Mine the whole thing. Mine it all. This is good. We like native gold. Oh, we found native gold. We found so much native gold. This makes me really happy. I like native gold. Native gold is good. What's Dampstone again? Uh, oh, the Crested Guild needs a guild hall. So that's a stoneworker's guild. Um, Dampstone will leak. It will, uh, it will leak water, unless you smooth it or put walls around it, um, depending on the stone. Anyway, guild hall, stone workers. The Crested Guild, right, let's get to work on this, shall we? This shouldn't be that difficult. Um, we put a couple of, actually, what we do first is we tell these people to very quickly just do that. Or we could drown. Let's not. 
Let's not say we didn't. I'm over that plan, the not drowning plan. Boring, I know. But I'm not a fan of drowning. Scientists increasingly believe that drowning is the cause of drowning. We have an expensive statue, uh, no, but we do have that statue. I know! Horrifying, isn't it? Horrifying to know. Hey, there's old dragon, raiding with a party of 30 of 24. Miss a number, how are you? I hope you are doing very well. We found gold! He bringeth the ham, he bringeth the raid! We have no complaints about the raid. And no complaints about the ham. How are you? Yeah, we found gold. Look at it. Mining it all out. Greedily soaking up all the goodness. There's gold in them, the hell there is. Also, someone is just mad. Why are you mad? Like, why are you mad? I don't know why you are mad. You finished up Final Fantasy 3 Pixel Remastered up. Glad you like it. They're just mad. They're like, hi, I am mad. And it's like, don't be mad. That's a lot of gold. Yeah, until it died face first in the water. That's true. It did die face first in the water and died horribly. Right. So. Please chop down this tree. Okay, this tree is going to be chopped down. Now we'll see if this tree counts for the tree chopping limit. Because if it does, we'll be careful. Okay, here comes a dwarf. I'm going to chop down this tree. Tree has been felled. Now, diplomacy, elves. Yes, it actually does count. Okay, it counts. So, all we need to do is chop down five more trees. And then we chop down no more trees for the rest of the year. So what we do, we just chop down five more trees. So go five, four, three, two, one. And then we chop down no trees after that. We then just leave the trees alone after that. We leave one tree as a, you know, a window of opportunity. This is fine. Like, this is absolutely fine. We have so much. It's not a problem. Also, we need to expand this squadron slightly. We also need to update their equipment slightly. So we'll let them update their equipment. How's the value of this room doing? Oh yeah, it, it, it's, it's getting there. It's absolutely getting there. So we are doing a fantastic job of already making this guild very good. Like, this is a good guild already. This is a very good guild. Pretty soon they're gonna be like, yeah, we're happy. Imagine someone out in the woods gathering mushrooms and being attacked by fruit. Uh, now, normal mushrooms are fine. It's the giant mushrooms that are the problem. Oh, wow. Even more gold. Um. And that pit of lava. That is a lot of gold. We 
148 dwarfs. 148! Oh, A giant Olm appeared and... Yeah! Is being absolutely destroyed. In fact, my hammerers are gonna finish it off. Go kill them. Oh wait, it's dead. Never mind! It's dead. Right, we need some more, um, hammerers. So, who is a peasant? Because if anyone is a peasant, they get automatically drafted into the military. Congratulations! Uh, you're in the military. Um, fisher dwarves also get put in the military. Because, yeah, peasant. And... Peasant. There we go. Full squad. Full squad. Right, go get your gear. We're going to have a squad of 20 dwarves there now. 20 military dwarves. Seems brilliant. Look at the sheer number of people just, just moving through this area. A lot of dwarves going through there. A lot of dwarves. I don't even know what they're gonna go get. Are they grabbing? Oh! They're grabbing all the wood! So if we now go to our agreements. One out of seven left. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, how much ore have we managed to attain? The answer is a lot. We're still mining this gold. Oh, magma crabs were a thing, were they? Yeah, there's magma crabs. I see something has rotted and everybody's walking through the miasma. The escorted doctrine has many worshippers in Paper Cup and now requires a temple and priest. The escorted doctrine. Okay. Another church. So this is not for the Escorted Doctrine. This is the Doctrine of Sanctuary. We need another church, I see. Well, good news. Um, a space has just opened up at the top. Um, where is it? Right here. There's a space right here. We'll put the temple here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Temple! Hope so, Retaranek. That'd be neat. You've ended a mandate. There's nothing to build. The guild hall agreement with the Crested Guild has been satisfied. Perfect. That makes me very happy. So some tunics have been made. C can we start mining this now? Or are we still mining down here? We're still mining down here. We're still mining there too. Oh wow, the sheer amount of gold we have uncovered. I mean, there's still more gold. There's gold here too. Look at this! It's this gold. That's amazing.
I really like this. Just gold is indeed found in veins, and we have found gold. A lot of it. Large serrated green glass discs have been completed. Excellent. Could you make some more? So how much gold do we have? 135. Yeah, I think we need to smelt some gold into, like, iron? Into gold. <laughs> no, smelt it into iron. No, smelt a hundred gold. Just... Just smell... Ooh. That went well. Kind of. No. It did not go well. I think his dog's in trouble. I think his dog's in trouble. 'Cause there's not a lot we can really do for the dog. Uh I'm sure you'll be fine. We may have a dead dog on our hands soon. Mandate the construction of certain goods. Oh. Three traction benches. Okay. Uh it's not the fact that we have no vets, it's that there is no ability for vets to do stuff. It is not a function in the game. So, um... I'm afraid... Dog will have to cope. Yeah, it doesn't do anything right now. So, um... Not a thing we can do. Okay, we're going to get started on uh, this here. We're also going to get some more doors in. Um, we need... We put two beds in here, didn't we? We did. We did. We put two beds in here. Ooh, well. Bed and bed. Remove that bed. Can we hit... The the skill with a hammer? I mean, that won't do anything. Like, hitting the skill with the hammer will not achieve the result you're hoping for. It will most likely just break the skill. So, at least now the advantage of having, like, a lot of people is having a lot of dwarves means that you can get things like menial tasks of, like, transporting goods done really quickly. And I mean really quickly. Like, this stuff, done in a flash. We, we're going to wait a moment on that, uh, that thing with the petition. What's the petition for? Eradicating monsters? Uh, no. We've not had great experience with them, I'm afraid. Yeah, we still have elk bird eggs. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make those traction benches. It's gonna be alright. Also, is the dog still alive? Yes! Dog is still alive. Still hanging in there is the dog. Loads of silk stuff has been made. And now we focus on making this temple. As quickly as we can. Sooner we make this temple, the better off we'll be. That's another petition. Uh, nope. Oh. That cave crocodile is causing problems. Uh, oh dear. Well, that cave crocodile is causing serious problems. Time to kill the cave crocodile before it kills one of our dwarfs. You are very badly injured. Yeah, that that cave crocodile is going down. Bye. Just and dead. 
be skin the croc? I mean, someone might skin the croc. Wow, that... Okay, that's a lot of damp stone we just located. That complicates things, but we can probably still mine it anyway. This will be fine. We, we really need to mine this. So just keep mining it. It's fine. Just, just mine it. We'll smooth it out really quickly. See? It's already becoming a problem. Traction benches, by the way, have been made. Damp stone. You heard you wanted more damp stone. Not really, is the answer to that question. Why does our new temple have such a mildew problem? It has a, we are, it, it, it's getting very wet and damp problem. Okay, just please mine this stuff. I know you're not keen, but please mine it. Pretty please. Just, just mine the stone. Please, please just mine it. And that there is Gnosis. Thank you ever so much. That is so, so kind of you. Gift, gifting a sub. Sixth sub you've gifted so far. That's so very kind of you. Thank you. Now what we do is we very quickly tell everyone to smooth this. Like just immediately smooth this stone. Just do it now. Smooth the stone. This will hopefully help with the problem. Look at what the team worked. The troll is fighting something. The troll is dead. <laughs> what happened to that troll? The large serrated iron disc strikes the troll in the, the tongue, tearing apart the, che the cheeks left s the left cheek skin. The force bends the hand, and and then it just lost its neck. <laughs> it made it part of a step in, and then it died. This is why I have these. Yep, it just exploded. Immediately. And that is exactly why I do that. So hopefully, us quickly smoothing all of this out will mean we don't have to worry about water anymore. I hope. Uh... Now we need to smooth more than that. Smooth everything. Smooth every bit of wall. I hope this works. It could be from the floor above is the problem. Yeah, this... Hmm. Okay. So why is this a problem? Where's the water coming from? Where is the water coming from? floor above but the floor above doesn't have huh I 
can't really deal with the floor above. This might be a problem. Right, I have another plan. The plan is simple. So the plan is very simple, okay? Uh, what we do is um, we see if the water keeps spreading, which it probably will, and uh, we have a baby apparently. Someone's having a little tiny trains having babies. Anyway, what we do is we seal it off. And we forget about it. This then becomes someone else's problem. Stop grabbing shoes. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yep. And... There we go! It is no longer our problem anymore. This is the best way to solve any situation. You just... wall it off. Problem solved. Now it, it, it's no longer a problem. Just, you know... Smoothing, someone lost a shoe. Yeah, but they got it back. It's fine. So there we go. Just, you know, it's no problem anymore. We, we now have an amazing situation, which is that, um, yeah. You just need to take these out. Problem not really solved. Time wasted. Nah, it's fine. Can we get plumbing? I mean, we could. Are we going to bother doing that? No. It's fine. What this basically means is if we ever get attacked by a horribly horrendous beast, we're just gonna, you know, unleash the water on them. And it'll be fine. So this room is going to be the room for the temple. This room here. This room is going to be the temple for um I I forgot who the sect was that we were making what what sect were we making the temple for the escorted doctrine okay thank you kind of important that we know that. So yeah, this is just going to be, you know, a, a nice room with, with nothing we have to worry about. It's just, you know, some damp stones, all good. It's fine. It's fine. Um, are we making swords? Uh, we have 132 iron swords. How much copper do we have on, on standby? A fair bit. We can make some copper short swords, you know, like... 50. Your eye for pass announcements would be pretty good. How many iron bars do we have? We are... Okay, we are... 
well and truly back in the the the, the, the business of iron. We don't need to do that anymore. Uh, iron short swords, uh, make a hundred of them. Uh, we're back in the business of making cool swords. Uh, also, what do my civilization want? Uh, there we have an agreement for footwear. Ah, no. Don't. Don't make those. Um. Oh yeah, we made 200 of these. Yeah, I think we're good for this year. I think we're good. Don't think we need to especially worry about making lots of really expensive stuff. We can focus on making a temple. That's what we can focus on. Making a temple and having it not be your fault. So let us um, smooth this out really quickly. And that, and that, and that. And then we'll engrave these really fast. See, this will be the new temple, okay? This temple's going to be a good temple. We've got this little dimple here. That's fine. We just have the flood room there. The, the flood room is a problem. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the, fan of the flood room. Um... But, but I suppose it might have its purpose one day? It is... It is not going to have its purpose one day. It's really not going to have a purpose. Do doors have a god of water? I mean, they will do soon. You should make some cop copper statues. Meh! My, my, my dwarves are getting pretty good at making stone ones. We don't need copper. We got stone. We got loads of stone. Besides, we just made more stone. Right here. Also, get to engraving. Like, right now. This will probably just immediately make the thing... Okay, so we need an offering place, which is... Oh, we don't have one. Okay. Make a copper altar. Really late? Miss something big? Uh, you missed us making a flood room, apparently. That is, uh, our new claim to fame, the flood room. It's, it's where the floods happen. Uh, I hope you like flooding, because, uh, we're gonna get loads of that in the near future. You're probably not gonna like flooding. It's sort of a zero out of ten would not recommend kind of dealio, the flooding. It's not good. But we have it now, so you know, we just gotta deal with what we have, and work with our limits, and make bedrooms out of all of these. Seven bedrooms, seems good. Flooding is good for growing rice, true, but dwarves don't grow rice on, on the ground. Uh, they grow rice on the surface, potentially, but surface food for dwarfs, while well, nice, it's a terrible thing for them to grow. They're not good at it. They're not good at uh, that kind of stuff. We have a ton of boxes. We should absolutely put some boxes in here. A couple of shale boxes. And then some more boxes here, like this one, and that one, and this one, and that one, and this one. And this one. Look at all the boxes. Look at the water in that room. That is gonna be a problem one day. Oh boy, that that's gonna be a problem. But we're getting somewhere. You know, we're not getting into trouble. Nothing awful has happened right now. Everything's great. Dwarfs are mostly pleased. Finding nice things that... You found a lot of iron. We should probably mine that. We should probably mine that iron. 
Oh, the priesthood is already ready to be recognized. T this will satisfy the agreement. All right. So, recognize the priesthood. G give me the sacred fence. Um, you're pretty good at it. Can make a flooded room to trap. I don't know, actually. I mean, having a flooded room has its purposes, I suppose. But I don't know what to do with it, necessarily. Bestowed the name Matima Thalal Uz upon a shield. Well done, Diggy. Uh, that's a decent one. We're going to put the nice statue in here. Do we have the altar yet? Has that been made? No. Someone will make it. Have you, by the way, finished... You are starving. Why are you... Okay, so here's a funny idea, Mr. Elkbird. Have you tried not sitting on your eggs? and thus not starving to death. No? You're gonna literally starve to death, aren't you? See, this chicken is fine. But you, you're just gonna starve. Well, this has turned out to be a bit of a problem. Not a lot we can do about that, though. Maybe you'll not starve? I'm not hopeful about this. The room's nearly full of stuff. One copper altar, okay. Uh, altar. There it is. It's actually a pretty good copper altar, actually. statue. And another statue. We also have an instrument we can put in here. We actually have a couple of instruments we can put in here. Sure. Yeah, I get the feeling that that bird is gonna die. You're panicked while starving. Why don't you get up and eat the food that's right there? Nope. I didn't. It's just choosing to be there because it's sitting on its egg to incubate it. And we have an alert. It's a gremlin! Uh, where? Wh where did the gremlin go? Is it dead? Uh... Nope, it's probably running. Oh yeah, gremlin's fleeing. Not surprisingly, the gremlin took one look at my death corridor, which by the way, it could have completely avoided, and uh, went no. It went nay. This is a bad idea. I do not want this. And so it didn't want that. And so it didn't have that. Yeah, we're okay on wood, I think. I think wood is going adequately well. As on the side, we want to make some more copper discs. Like, I don't know. Actually, we don't need to do that. What we want is to use the discs we have, which would be, uh... I mean, we have 21 of them. We might as well use them. They might not last very long, but they'll last for long enough. The last for long enough. Yeah, whoever cage animal caretaker doors will feed her. Uh, I mean, maybe. 
make a zoo with all the forgotten monsters for our dwarves to see? Problem is, zoos don't really work. Like, zoos are cool in the game, but what they generally do is they horrify people. Uh, and as soon as you retire the fortress, by the way, uh, all of the creatures in cages get out, and then they try and kill everything. How about we set up a cage? Like, in here, like that. Or chain them to that location. That'll make animal caretakers feed them too, apparently. If I chain them... Oh, that's an interesting idea. Okay, do that instead. The problem is, how do I chain this specific elk bird? Oh! Right! So, they're pretty close! They're pretty close. The good news is we should be able to funnel them. The bad news is that one person saw them and got terrified. We now have four very angry dwarves. That said, only 16 of our 149 dwarves are in any way upset. We know how these typically go. We know how this typically goes. It's called everything tries to murder our face. So if everything is going to murder our face, we're going to station the squad here. And we're going to order everyone who's not military to go into the burrow. Oh dear. That rat man is chasing a cat. Not really. Okay, I need you all to station. Don't chase my cats. And here they come, into the traps, and uh, dead. And dead. Oh no, we found Cosmic! It's like, yeah, he, he's dead. We found Cosmic, everyone! Remember them? Yeah, you, you died. Yeah, we found your corpse. So, wh why... Why are my dwarves not stationing? Because we kind of need you. Where are my dwarves? Come on. Oh. There are more of them. Oh, well, never mind. The war path has been initiated. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yet you just start killing them, please. Because uh, we need you all here. And that is to Fufa there with 40 months. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you. Send your hammer dwarves. I could send them too. They'll equip, don't worry. They equip once um once you tell them they're on break. Send them too. Send them both. See these guys are oh, they're tired. Oh oh oh. They should be okay though. Overexerted. Come up. 
More people coming in. Good. Okay. That went well. No one is injured, but people are overexerted. Right. How many more invaders are there? That didn't go too badly. We have three invaders. There's one here. I don't think we need to worry anymore. I think we're good. I think we'll just uh, unassign all of this. I think things are all right. We found some, some dead cats, by the way. There are some very dead cats. So we need to deal with weapons and armor because uh, armor and weapons. Right. So shields. That's the thing we always need to worry about. What about shields? And uh, shields bucklers. Right. Um, just melt all of them down. Melt all them down. Melt all them down. Oh, we have a, another steel shield, another steel shield, another steel shield, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, Mayhem, another one, another one, and another one. And there's Foxy Mofo there with Prime Gaming, 35 months. Thank you ever so much. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you. And here's Cav. And remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime machine, you have a Prime sub, you can spend it on like, you can spend it on me! Give me Jeff Bezos money! We just had a invasion. It, uh, didn't go very well. We've also made a new room in our, in our fortress, inadvertently. Would, would you like to see it in a second? It's a good room. I lied. It's not a good room. It's a bad room. I'm actually going to unorder these from being melted. Uh, same with these spears. Uh, also these ones. So, the reason why I want to do this is because these spears are going to be really good in weapon traps. So, anyway, everything's being melted down and killed and everything. So, uh, we tried to make a temple cave, and uh, we've made a water room instead. So this room is um, filling with water. It's a thing. We, we have a little water room. It, it, it's going to be a fun addition to our fort. I see, yeah. Um, it is a thing. We have made a water room. It's a good room. A water temple, if you will. Yeah, exactly. A water temple. It's all, it's all fine. It's not fine. So, we're going to make a couple more traps here. The traps, by the way, have been pretty useful. They bought us some time. Uh, a troll decided to enter into one of the traps and immediately died. Like, immediately died. So let's put some, I don't know, some bismuth bronze spears and some iron spears. And then we'll put some a steel spear, some bronze spears, and some iron spears. And then some copper spears. And then some more spears. And then we'll put, you know, some more spears. And a couple of these. And that. And then we're physically out of mechanisms. But you know, it, it's this little trap corridor is doing well. There are probably more invaders. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's more. Oh uh, yeah, so we're not done. Uh, please kill some more of these invaders, if you would. This... This... Could be a problem. Fortunately, uh, our people turned up in time. I 
There's a few more. People are, for some reason, getting involved in this. I don't know why. Like, you're seriously injured because you decided you wanted to fight. Uh, a nose is here. We, we now have a nose, which just here. You are also seriously injured. Again, you decided you wanted to get involved. Oh no! Cat 2K is dead, and Fish Poser is dead. Who's Fish Poser? Oh no! Fish Poser got murderized! Well, we have to avenge Fish Poser. So let us go and, and do that. And... We need to give Fish Poser a decent burial. Uh, sadly, Fish Poser has perished. Is very sad. No, oh no, no, no. Undo that. How'd they die? A rat person killed them. Uh, where's Fish Poser? Ooh, a pouch of gold. Decent cat burial bribe. Don't worry! There is a grave for them. It's okay. Thank you very much, Cav, though. That is kind of you. So, who found Fish Poser? Fish Poser got ambushed, it would seem, and they got, like, isolated, and then they died. Okay, we just need to... There we go! The person has died. They have indeed perished. So that is the end of them. Uh, I see another combat is going on here. Can, can we kill this one while we're at it? Otherwise we're going to lose enigmatic repose. There we go. Lots of people got badly hurt there. How many more invaders are just chilling out here? There are no more invaders. How is the hospital looking? It's kind of full. Let's get some more beds in here, shall we? Couple more beds never hurt anyone. Miss Hammerdorf is injured. Ah, well, that's fine. You can totally recover from that. Here's some more beds, please. Yep, that elk bird is, um, it's dead. Also, it's summer. We're gonna, s oh, we don't need to save. It's automatically saving. Do need to, however, turn on the light as it is starting to get a bit gloomy. So yeah, breeding those elk birds is a problem. Uh, we might want to just instead just take their eggs and, and eat them instead. Yeah, elk birds are not a good, um, a good prospect for, for that. A shame. Tell you what we can do, though. In a moment, I'll be back. So yeah, the trap thing is working, but it's not giving us a lot of warning as to what's happening when it comes to invasions. So if you give me a moment, I'll be right back.
I am back. The traps are relatively constant, however, over time, things in the traps might break. This child is injured. This child is very injured. This does not fill me with joy. You should make a small squad of spear dwarfs on the cavern level? This is not a bad idea, however, we already have the hammer dwarfs right here. It's not a terrible suggestion, though. It's not a bad suggestion. We might want to do that. Um, I need to do a bit of calculation, though. Actually, you know what? No, this is a good idea. This is a good idea. Let us get a floor down. And some walls. I'm just gonna need a couple more claystone blocks, it would seem. Scaffolding. And a couple more blocks, so rock, block, thirty. We'll make these out of clay stone. We have a lot of clay stone. We're just going to need some rock armor stands and some rock weapon racks. Make ten of each and we'll make these out of claystone too. I like this plan actually, it's not a terrible plan. We'll work on it. This child is... is just walking around wounded. Is... is no one... Is no one gonna help the child? She's like, I'm gonna pick up the child! So how's the hospital right now? So how are you? You are... Oh. Um. Um. See, so yeah, about your neck. Mayhem! Yippee! Hi, Kiko. My volcano fought near a river two years. Got raided by a necromancer with a forgotten beast corpse. Hope you're not near any necrotas. I'm not! I'm not. Thank you very much, Shurikas. There for five months. Me and a few more threads for sutras. Just saying. I've got thread. I've got 1,672 thread, Cav. I have so much thread. We are drowning in thread. We could make a forgotten beast of thread. Threadarketh Drachneth. The forgotten beast of thread. Beware its deadly thread. Also, note something else. His lower body has been gilded. Oh. 
What about you? You seem a lot... better? Oh. Maybe? Um, it's not better. No, no. Uh, you... eh? You're just asleep on the floor. So that was a bad encounter, okay? That was a bad encounter. Alright, that was, um... Unfortunate. Hang on. Mucho typing. Ooh, Mucho. To help with the pain. Me. Thank you very much, Observer. What? Uh, uh, tyrant, rather. That is so kind of you. Sorry. Got it mixed up there. Good news, though, a dancer's visiting. Look, we have a massive hospital. I'm seriously surprised you are not dead yet. Don't worry, everything's being sutured. Sutured. One step at a time. How much soap do we have? We got soap. We got plenty of soap as well, so soap isn't a problem. We're fine, you know? We just have a slight rat problem. It's a big rat problem, but we... We can deal with it, maybe? I'm c confident we can deal with it. Maybe. I'm not sure we can deal with it. Slight problem. Yeah, it, it's only slight. Mayhem. And that's Yippee! Raji there with 17 months. Thank you ever so much. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you. See, you're, you're fine. You're just cleaning. This person, however, is... Ooh. A pouch of gold? Runes of unusual size? Impossible! I know! This person... I mean, this person might be in hospital for the next forever. Elk bird hatchlings have... They hatched! Can you show the relationships? Um... Just some passing acquaintances. We actually have elk birds. Where are they? Look at the little hatchlings. So we can sacrifice an elk bird to, to get more elk birds. Was that a good exchange? I don't know. Actually, it was a good exchange, because uh, if we train any of these elk birds, they become tame. And any children they have also become tame. You have more eggs? No. Do you have eggs? No. What happened to my mom? They died. We also do need to assign them to this place, so that they don't, uh, just walk off. It's kind of important that we do that. Also, that the flood room is being very floody. You know, we also need an early warning system here. That's how we ended up in a problem. We didn't have an early warning system here. We didn't have one here. <laughs> uh, please resume that. Is this vanilla? This is very much vanilla. This is very much vanilla. Also, we have dogs, 
we need to start training up a few more dogs. Like that dog, and that dog, and that dog. All of them can be war dogs. How's this dog doing, by the way? You, you still alive? Yep, still alive. We also have our scaffolding here, so we can uh, mine away that at some point. <laughs> Also put in a door. Excellent. I don't know why you're going that way. Yep, we have war dogs. Excellent. You're placing the chain. On this chain, we are placing our war dog. We have tame ones already! Look! Female tame elk hatchlings! That's progress! We have tamed them! You go there. So now we'll have another early warning system. Ah, I see a problem has occurred here. mind that. They're all using this corner, by the way. This is the fastest way through, so we're like, yes, we will use this corner. This is the corner that we will use. It's moving all the bones. That's gone now, so now we can continue resuming that. What names do you give the hatchlings? Uh, I don't know. I've not thought that far ahead. That guy didn't think that far ahead enough to keep his trousers, by the way. He's just like, oh, there's my trousers. Two. Three. Four. Five. Be aware, you have a ramp that allows access to the top of the wall. Yep. This is true. I will be removing that ramp. There we go, and resume construction of that. Resume construction of that. Then we'll put some armor stands around. Now we can resume that construction. Put a couple of statues in here. To make it look nice, you know. Then we can engrave the walls. By the way, my asthma, how you doing? Not great to have you here, but uh, it is what it is. We also need another claystone block here. Got a lot of claystone blocks, which means we can start putting a roof on this. Did you ever get the dude? The what? I don't know what statue you're referring to there specifically. There. So this is now a barracks. I'd be late. Who died recently? We did lose one person. Uh, I think that's probably extremely old news, because he might be referring to Duke Nukem Forever, which was forever ago, excuse the pun. <laughs> Uh, 
that is uh, not new news. That is uh, old news. I'm actually going to engrave all this. Because it is, it is a corridor that's used a lot. We should also just engrave all this, too. Because this is also used a lot. Yeah, I know miasma, but people are slowly getting used to miasma. They're not getting used to the miasma. They're really not getting used to the miasma. <laughs> so at some point we're going to make a new squad. Ah, what we need to do first is make a custom... I see! Well... Just station here for the moment. The dog is very dead. I'd like to see you... The humans have arrived, by the way. I'd like to see you try and get through this. Like, I'm just going to throw it out there. I'd like to see you try. They're going to try. But I don't think they're going to get very far. Um, let's go from the bottom and work our way up. Finish goods bin with a thousand. An armor bin. Finished goods bin, a finished goods bin, a weapon bin with 21k in it. Hello, humans. One moment. Our trade goods are being temporarily seized by basin dwellers. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Ah, we could just multitask this. I mean, they're only, they're only a small invasion of, like, horrendous monsters. We can deal with that. I think. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just, you know, we'll just keep an eye on this as they... as they fail to get through. Oh, here come more! <laughs> They're not managing it! Stop fighting! Oh, someone's gonna die. Well, free my soul's gonna die. Yeah, free my soul is dead. Why did you do that? Why did you engage? Like, yeah, we're gonna just... No. Okay, we're just gonna have to send you guys in, clearly. Because people are doing silly stuff. Like, stop! Why? You're all like, you know what? We're just gonna... Why? Stop coming here! So we, we just really want to die! Don't do this! Well, that's another person dead! That's another person dead! We are losing people because they've decided they just want to go this way. Please stop. Did you enable borrow? Uh, this wouldn't have made a difference, is the problem. Uh, the problem is, is that they still would have had their tasks, and these dwarves are fools. Uh, the, the other problem is that we have traders right now, and if we have the traders, it would stop them from doing that. I don't know what people are doing. They're just, just running in. What are you even trying to do?
Let me be kidding. What are you even trying to achieve here? You're all here! What? What were you doing? What were any of you doing here? Like, what task were you accomplishing coming here? Genuine question. I don't know. But if there's a positive to be taken from this, and there really isn't, um, we're nearly good with the trading. I don't worry, people will automatically come and save them. That was a mess. Someone put die horribly in the task list. No, uh, probably not. But the thing is, instead of going away, they ran to the death. Like, they should have, like, left. I mean, this was good experience for my Hammer Dwarfs. This was really good experience for my Hammer Dwarfs. The problem is I really didn't want my Hammer Dwarfs to get a huge amount of experience super quick. By, by, by death. So... Now we have to ask the grim question, who died? We were doing so well. The problem is, is the timing was really bad because of the trade. I mean, on the plus side, we now have a bunch more spears. We'll deal with them in a bit. So, who perished? Let's let's make a couple of of tombs. Cuz yeah. Couple people died. I think we lost like six people. Let's see. Some people are probably going to be upset about this, understandably, because, you know, death. Right. Yeah, you're dead. We know that. Uh, you're dead. Uh, you've got a grave. Right, so who did we lose? We lost you, who's a siege engineer. I mean, it's not really a huge problem. You didn't even have a name. Um... Who did we lose that was named? Uh, Free My Soul is dead, the lie maker. Nevermore will they make lie. This makes me sad. Uh, we lost Zedek, the stone cutter. We lost them as well. My soul is now free. This is very true. We also lost... Mesbeth, who is a glazer. Did we lose anyone else by any chance? I'm going to check. Did we lose anyone else? No. But I feel like we might need to place a couple more coffins. We don't have any more coffins. Hmm. Someone is fighting. No, they are not fighting. The game just... Who is fi... You're not fighting anyone. You are not fighting. The game is just struggling to update. But I'm not even kidding. You're not fighting. You're just... You're retching. That's not a fight. That's you throwing up. That, that's not a fight, that's you just throwing up, sir. You are also just throwing up. This is not a fight. But apparently the game thinks you're fighting. 
No, no, you're also just vomiting. How's your health doing? We don't know. Uh, plus side, though! Kittens! Yay, kittens! That makes up for everything, right? Kittens! Yay! We got kittens! Yeah, that'll make up for the disaster that was. So, things might be, you know, a little less great. But, that could have gone worse. I know that sounds really weird, but we could have lost a lot more people. And we didn't lose anyone important. That also sounds terrible. But we didn't lose anyone important. Like, we didn't lose... Our noble, or the mayor, or any of the leaders of the churches, I don't think. One of them didn't even have a name. Alright, so what have you brought for me? You've brought a bunch of bars. A bunch of gems. I mean, we'll buy the gems. We'll buy the bars. Uh, we'll buy the glass. Mm, we won't buy any of the rope. We'll buy a couple of these because, I mean, it saves us some time. You have a couple of instruments. I appreciate instruments. You also have some big instruments. I'll buy them too. Um, a couple of boxes. We'll buy them. You brought a cow. I will buy this cow. I will also buy your beer. Because beer saves me some effort. Also a couple of cheap barrels. You have some very cheap barrels. Wine, beer, whiskey. Buckets. Uh, spears? No, 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 no. No, don't want to buy any of your clothes. Clothes are a trap. Boxes save me some effort. Uh, we'll come back to your bags. Your bins, however, we will buy all your bins. Uh, we won't buy any of your meat, though. Food is not a problem. Uh, okay, you're bringing fish. I will buy your fish because fish are cool. I'll also buy the plants because plants are cool. Uh, thread we don't need. Backpacks we might need. Uh, cheese, no. Books! Ooh, they're expensive. But maybe I can buy them? I'm gonna build that library at some point. Anyway, um... I mean, we've got some very expensive stuff here. We also have all these swords. I and mean, let's be honest, the swords are probably gonna pay for this. We do need to sell these swords. And every five of them is a thousand. We can probably pay for everything. With just swords. Yeah. 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 This looks pretty promising. We have had this sword stockpile for up. Yeah. Uh, bags. I didn't look at your bags, did I? I want what's your what's in your bags, probably. Just sand, really. Um. Yeah, sand. Give me your sand bags. Your bags of sand. You also have a bag of rice. I mean. Okay. Uh, more sand. You didn't bring anything else, did you? Quick lime? Did you bring any quick lime with you? No. I mean, if I throw an extra few swords in, 
You are amazingly pleased with this, and I will even hand you uh, a sword as a gift. Kind of, but it's just convenient to to get them, because we get sand that's already collected, and we also have, like, stuff ready to go. Like, we can just immediately make glass stuff with it. That's what I predominantly did that for. We, we just got glass stuff there. Just, just easy peasy. So the trade is done. We also have a cow. Cows are useful. We, we will place... Actually, we got... We have an alpaca as well. Cow, camel... Did I buy all of those? I think I did by mistake. It's premium sand, exactly. Apparently, Prenum sand. Sand from the Prenum Plains. The most luxurious of sand. Hello, Tom Tom. It's Prenum sand. It's got branding and everything. It's got a nice little logo on the bag, Prenum. You just know that Prenum sand is superior to normal sand. It's just... You just know. You know the fun thing? We might actually want these traction benches deployed. I'm just thinking, we might actually want to place down the traction benches. They, they might have a purpose. Hello, how you doing? I hope you're doing well, welcome. We need it. You've got a good half an hour of stream left here. I'm going to put a couple more boxes down too, because we might need them. Also, traction benches. Make one out of petrified wood, apparently. Could say I am. <laughs> I get you. Right, we need to probably improve the amount of stuff that's here. Yeah. We may need a bit more thread here. Thank you. And a bit more cloth, and a few more splints, a few more crutches, and a few more buckets for vomiting, and a little bit more soap. I'm just, you know, thinking we should, like, double all of that. Double it all! Also, look at those tamed little elk bird hatchlings. <laughs> look at all the vomiting! So how are you injured? Uh, we don't know yet. How is Vomit Man injured? We don't know yet. Okay, why is the hospital not functioning? Hammy, what are you doing? We need another diagnostician, that's what we need. Oh, we don't have many. Well, um... Um... Um, uh, Rackenshin! Congratulations, you're now a diagnostician. You'll be great. You will be, like, the best diagnostician. And this fish dissector? I mean... Yeah, you're a doctor now. Actually, no, you're a good surgeon. Uh, we need another doctor. Um... There we go. We have a doctor who is expert with bees. It's great. Everything will be fine. No one is going to die. It's all good. Also, it's like death and pestilence. It's great. Just ignore all of the death and, you know, it's fine. This is fine. Need to find that war dog. Where is that other war dog I have? Ah, no, that's a straight dog. That's a straight war dog. Where is my other stray war dog? Everything is fine. No one is going to die. None of this is fine. Yeah, you can quote that if you like. Absolutely quote that. You know what I wish? I wish I could search for, like, 
just dogs. Like, search for a war dog in that list. So I don't need to... I have three war dogs. And one of them needs to go in on this train, but I don't know where they are. You should upset with spear dwarfs? I mean, I'll try, but at the moment I need to find a dog. A particular dog, because I've, I've already assigned that war dog. Actually, have I assigned that war dog? I don't think I have. There, that war dog will do. Right. So, we have a barracks. We need to make a new squad. We, well, before we make a new squad. All right. We need to make a new. Let's make a new uniform. This uniform is going to be called. Spears. No, it's going to be called Anti Ratty. So, you need a breastplate. Just, just a metal breastplate. You also need a male shirt. You don't need a male shirt, actually. Don't have a male shirt. Um, you're going to have a helmet that's made of metal. You're going to have greaves that are made of metal. You're going to have gauntlets that are made of metal. You're going to have footwear, high boots that are made of metal. You're going to have a shield that is specifically made of steel. Sorry about that symbol there. And you're going to have spears that are specifically made of steel. Actually, no. Take male shirts that are also made of metal, because why not? Anyway. Actually, don't. No, don't have male shirts. We don't need male shirts. Uh, we messed that up. It'll be fine. It won't be fine. Anyway. New militia captain. The... Oh... It's not been saved, apparently. I didn't save it. Because I'm a fool. Right. Add a uniform. I didn't save. Alright, so we go. Anti-ratty again. Okay. Let's try this again. Breastplate. That's made of metal. Should we have to wear iron? We have to wear iron for now. Okay, so body wear, mail shirt, material, iron. Head wear, helm, material, iron. Leg wear, greaves, material, iron. Foot wear, high boots, material, iron. Hand wear, gauntlets, material, iron. Shield, that material steel we have loads of steel shields that's fine weapon spear material steel confirm and save but they're all smush right so now we make a new squad with anti ratty and their name is going to be um Um, I want to find something silly. The mint oils! There you go. They are the mint oils. We shall make their item, this, this, this thing here, because for it is a mint. It should be a lovely, delicious, minty colour. There we go. It's a, it's a fine mint. So now we need to assign a leader. Right, who? 
I mean, I know exactly who the leader is. It's Batman. Batman is the leader. Is anyone a spear dwarf? No. Is there anybody that can actually do this? All right. Fingers, you're on my squad. Um. Uh, a pair, you're on the squad. Ton, you're on the squad. And. Uh, hmm. Udil, you're on the squad. Right, this is the squad. All right. It's a brilliant squad. I'm real pleased about it. So, you guys can put all your stuff in here. And your schedule is that you start training right now. There was a novice spear dwarf in there? Nah, we want a full set of recruits. This is going to be great. This is going to be the best. Also, why are you just there? I don't I don't know why you're there. I don't know why anyone's here. They're just doing stuff. Alright, they're just... They're doing things. Okay. So there we go. We've nearly done everything. It's the perfect squad. Nothing bad is going to happen with this squad. They're all going to die. They are, they are all going to die. Like, a horrible forgotten beast is going to turn up and it's going to be like, Hello! I have come to consume the entirety of your face. And I'm like, could you not consume the entirety of my face? And they're like, no, I, I'm afraid. My job is literally to consume your face. I mean, it's it's just what I do. It's, it's what I must do. I am the face consumer. Also, there is vomit in the middle of that corridor. You should probably get that sorted out. But I think everybody is too busy vomiting everywhere. You maybe shouldn't have people just vomiting. You're dressing a wound. Everybody's getting involved here. How, how, how badly hurt are you? you? We don't know how badly hurt you are. Never realized Forgotten Beasts were void. Hang on. Just need to put that in. Thank you. Excellent. So, remember we were building that corridor? By the way, none of this has been Forgotten Beasts. None of this has been Forgotten Beasts. Everything... A Doctor's Guild has been established? A Doctor's Guild? We have... We have had so many people get hurt. That a doctor's guild has now been founded. No, it's a guild. Like, so many people have been hurt that we have a doctor's guild. Wow. I have never had a doctor's guild in Dwarf Fortress before. Ever. I've never had one. And now, I, I have one! <laughs> so I'm gonna just, like, do that preemptively. But who's in it? We'll find out! The Blameless Hall! That's what they're called. They're the Blameless Hall. ETA until we hear from them wanting stuff. So how are you doing? Uh, you're really badly hurt. Good news though! Uh, you're tired. <laughs> oh no! Oh! You're tired, you have no stamina! You're gonna start combat and just immediately be like, Ugh. Well, you're in this squad now. I'm committed to you being in this squad, alright? You're in it. This is the this is the thing that we have done.
you are in this squad. Ah, oh dear. So things have happened. Very much so, things have happened. We have had bad things. Just as bad. It, it's just been bad. Also, that room's just slowly filling with water. It's my shame. I just didn't plan well enough. Now... Now I just have a room full of water. It'll be fine. Joe's got a volcano. Yeah, that's it's fair enough. I I don't need to. I don't have any vampires for one, so not something I could really do. That you know of. I'd know if I had one. Because people would start dying. They're not very subtle at not killing people, vampires. Yes, but they're dying due to mundane things. Like people killing them. In combat. That's what's called a boring death. The ones that are very predictable. Their deaths we know about. Also, we still have spare rooms. This is encouraging that we have spare rooms. Because uh, we need to start building more rooms. Vampires, fortunately, can't make a guild because guilds are made based on professions. That's fine. Yep. The Blameless Hall went to Guild Hall. Well, good news. I'm well on top of this. You want a Guild Hall? I've got one for you. Uh, doctors. Wow, it's this far down. Doctors are this far down. The Doctor Hall. There you go. It's already a guild hall. It is already good enough to be classed as a guild hall. They're like, yep, yeah, yeah, this is good. They are already pleased. This is perfect. The guild hall agreement is completely satisfied. I'll take that victory. Guildhall needs a platinum traction bed. You know what? You are absolutely right. Um, can I make a platinum traction bed? Ooh. I'd need a platinum table for that, wouldn't I? Let's make one platinum table. And then we'll see about making that traction bench. Hopefully. Do we have some more... Oh, we have so many of them. How many of these are tame? You're not tame yet. You are disillusioned after being forced to endure the decay of a mother. That is a statement I never thought I would have to say. They are indignant. They're insulted. This one is just angry. I mean, it's not my fault. Not my fault. Okay, can someone train these, please? Okay. 
I want these trained. So someone doing the training, uh, animal training. Uh, I actually want you to do it just dedicated. I'd usually do it just dedicated. So how many steel bars do we have right now? 14, that's fine. We're just slowly getting there with steel bars. Was Ronaldy selected? No, it wasn't. I want them to do that exclusively. This means that they only they only do this task. Animal training. Yes, everyone does this and they do it. That's the thing. Everyone does it, but these two do it exclusively. I don't want just them to do it. You might need a bigger refuse pile. That's the refuse pile. That's the garbage dump. Don't think it works like that? No, it does. It, it very much does work like that. It does work like that. Because they're doing the training now. Like, it wouldn't make sense if you had it set up so that this button didn't do anything. Like, everyone does this. But these two do it exclusively. As far as I know. But I could do that. That's how it should work. Is that how it works, though? We'll have it like that for now. To be fair, that person's busy doing a thing. We'll have the High Masters do it. Because then they'll definitely do it. Either way, we'll give it a go. Besides, we have until those elk birds become adults anyway. Once they become adults, the time has passed. Oh, wow. The, this stop pod's really not filling up. This is actually going down. But it's not going down because we have actually even more drink. I thought it was a logic on off. I think I believe it is the case that like everyone will do it, but they'll also do it exclusively. Um, also, this is just slowly filling with, with water. It's wonderful. It's not wonderful. None of this is wonderful. He's just here, me like he's watching a weaponsmithing demonstration. That's really cool. And they're leading a weaponsmithing jet. Like, this is cool. Like, they're teaching weaponsmithing to each other. That's a nice little touch that these things are be. That's a lot of smell. There's, um, that these things, skills are being passed on thanks to the, to the training. Also, we're absolutely gonna do this and just get some more of that going. That's a lot of stink. That's it's a lot of very smelly people being very smelly. Maybe we can go like five minutes. Hmm. Maybe we'll have a strange mood at the end of the stream. It's been a while since we've had a strange mood. It's a possession, which is not the the best thing in the world, but you know, it's... it's a thing. <laughs> so it's a pretty quiet end. Nope! Is it a baby that's decided to have a strange mood? Is it... is it Dorfless? Just crawling around desperately on the floor? I don't know. You know what I do know, folks? We're gonna... we're gonna follow them. We have... 2,000 odd food. It is Inod who has no name. Well, we're going to name Inod because um, we don't want that to have happen. So Inod, there are so many people that don't have names anymore. I do not like this um, this bug that causes problems with names. Uh, we need a name for Inod. I don't know who they were. So basically anyone that gets involved in a combat gets unnamed. Nope. Um, the bigger the better though. 
bigger the better. That means you can engrave more stuff, fit more things in there, have more people standing around. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this bug. I don't know. I need a name for this person first, though. I honestly couldn't tell you at the moment, because I'm waiting for this one. Does anyone have a suggestion? I mean, they're going to be called Pete now. Apparently, it's alright. I can... I can... I'll have to really desperately write that name in for someone. Because we have a lot of dwarves have lost a lot of... Yeah, you can unpick that. There we go. So, let's now follow... Also, has Strithland... I mean, you might just be dead. Nope, you're fine, apparently. Uh, so, Strange Mood. Oh, you're one of the furious people. This is going to be exciting. This one is, like, super mad. You are very, very mad. So, what are you doing? I think you're probably going to the clothier. Because that's kind of what you do. Uh, yep, you're just going to kick this person out. You've claimed it. You are also stressed. That's not good. What family do you have here? Done. So if I need to kick you out, this will be this will be fine. A cat. Oh, that means we'd lose the cat if they decide to do something terrible. You've claimed a log. Isn't the cat dead? Yes, actually, the cat is dead. That's probably why they're quite mad. They're probably quite mad because the cat's dead. Losing pets kind of does that. So. They picked up two things. Th that's all they grabbed. They grabbed two items. This thing better be impressive, because a lot of our artifacts, apart from that coffin that Kokoskia has, Oh boy, more migrants! We don't need more migrants! Right at the end of the- well, we know what we're dealing with at the start of next stream. How's that traction bench? Uh, it's not been made yet. People are a bit busy. I don't know how many people are turning up. Yeah, I don't think many people turned up there. Yeah, that wasn't a lot of people. We got, like, six. We basically got replacements for all the people that died. <laughs> so all the people that snuffed it, you dwarfs have turned up. I'm well. Okay, people, we, we're going to have to have names for them. We need some names for the new dwarfs, because we, we may have lost every other dwarf. And, and names for everyone, but... Okay, I'm going to have to see if I can actually fit that in. I'm going to call it, like... I'm just going to go that. Because otherwise it's going to get a bit too long. Uh, Battle Booze is a name. We'll have Battle Booze. I'm just a bit sad that these names got lost. Yeah, we don't have anyone. We, we have no names. Mad Steve 80 is a good idea. Where's a peasant? Okay, good news. Bad Steve 80. Reborn. You still have Murph? Pretty sure I still have Murph. Do I have Murph? Uh, yes, we still have Murph. Uh, we. I'm gonna need you to actually post the names you're gonna put out. Courier, okay. We'll have a courier.
Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know how many more names we've got. Uh, then we'll have to see at the start of next stream how many people... Oh, we've got Barry, and then I'll have... Then we'll have uh, Foundersome. And then at the start of next stream, we'll see how many people have lost their names. Which will be a shame. Not a fan of the names being lost. Uh, I don't think we have any more space for names right now, but... We have some new people. There we go. Also, let's sort out the animals so people just don't lose their animals. Uh, what did you bring? Oh, a lot of things got brought. That's okay, though. There we go. Also, we've made some... A shale throne. A masterwork shale throne. So, we're back to 149 people. This is good. We also haven't had any more forgotten beasts. We have had tons of rat people. And the rat people are annoying. Like, the rat people are not great. We, we don't have any more names right now, Pete. Um, I will most certainly be thinking of uh, finding the names of people that have lost their names for next week. Although my request is currently satisfied, we can sort that out next time. What I have against Skaven? They're trying to kill me. They're literally trying to murder us all. That is the problem I have with them. They wish to murder my face. I'm not a fan of the murder. Yeah, I don't want them to do that. I'm actually very partial to my face. Mainly I'm partial to my face being attached to my face. You know? Call me an old stick in the mud. Because I am. But I like not being de Oh, no, don't worry. I've already put them in. I've already put those animals in. Don't worry. They have already been added. So we can always check next stream. But you know what, folks? At least the, the, the person that got gelded is probably okay. And so... I want to thank you all for being here. Actually, maybe the person who's gelded died. I don't know. And so, thank you ever so much, everyone. You're all absolutely amazing and fantastic and brilliant and wonderful. I couldn't do what I do without you, but I would want to do what I do without you. You are the heart and soul of my community. You're all amazing. And if we lose names, it's fine. We'll just get new names, and then people will just die horribly. I mean, in the end, it's just a body. It's just a body. There are a couple of things I need to quickly talk about before we conclude. Starting off with... This is the point where we do the exclamation marks, people. There are lots of mods. Can someone do the exclamation mark? Thank you! There is my website. Kikaskio.com. You can check out all kinds of things there, including Mithrendi of Dusseldorf. And, uh... There's also... My schedule. You can also find links to where you can buy my book and hope. No problem, Deus. Then there is... Oh, it's going out of order. Then there is my Discord. Where you could... Do, it's alright, uh, Tiny Trade. Where you could do a, join a larger thriving community that I'm often a part of. There's loads of places to talk about stuff. Loads of emotes based on let's plays and streams past and present. And if you link your Twitch and Discord together and you're sub to your Twitch, you can use the Twitch emotes on Discord. And you know what else is awesome? My Patreon! Now you can pledge to support me in doing what I do. There's something Let's Play a stream might sit up behind paywalls, but there is a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you typically don't see. Including, but not limited to, all of the editing and compression and Let's Play testing and stream testing and everything else that makes what I do a reality. And those that do pledge to me not only get a different coloured name on Discord or my deep and sincere thanks, but you also get the ability to vote in upcoming playthroughs when the opportunity rises. And especially in these trying times, I really do rely on the people that pledge to me to make what I do a reality. There's also, by the way, my YouTube. Did you know I've got one? I've been doing it for over 15 years now. I'm so old. There are so many people that are like, Ugh, I'm in so much trouble. Ugh, all my everything is hurt. It's okay, you'll be fine, Demon Dragon. And then you weren't fine. But, uh... 
I have nearly 10,000 videos and all my Twitch VODs there as well. There's loads of stuff there to keep you entertained. And if you sub to me there, you'll get me one step closer to 100,000 YouTube subscribers. And if we get there, I'll do a replay of Terror for the Deep and a replay stream of Wizards and Warriors 2 Iron Sword. And if we get to a million YouTube subscribers, I'll do those eyelash tutorials that people keep asking for. And if we get to 520 Twitch sub points, we're at uh, 238 right now, I will do a playthrough on stream of both Action 52 games because apparently I've not suffered enough when it comes to Action 52. Watch your YouTube contest is 2000, 2008, and I'm really pleased that you've been enjoying it that long. There's also my Twitter, where you can follow me to get notifications about when I start streaming, when my Let's Play videos go live, and all kinds of random other stuff, and no problem, Darkshade. I uh, will certainly have a good sleep, because I'll be sleeping soon. Uh, on Twitter as well, you can also get notifications about things like when I start streaming. But, uh, well, I've done that, and I've always done that part. Like, when I play games, and... When I also put up, uh, like, pictures of miniatures I'm painting, or gumpla I'm building, or other silly things, like Tangy being Tangy. Come on, Tisho, we need those eyelash tutorials. My eyelashes are in such disarray. I know! I know! Finally, there is me thanking all of you, because seriously, you are all absolutely amazing and brilliant and wonderful. I said it at the beginning, and I'll say it now, because I couldn't do what I do without you, and I wouldn't want to do what I do without you. Like, you truly are amazing and wonderful, and my, my job is to entertain you all with the stuff I do. I mean, it's I never started this thinking it would be my job, but I'm just really, really humbled that you enjoy what I create, and that it's a thing that you can enjoy and and have fond memories of and all sorts of stuff but seriously I'm never good at doing this part but I'm so humbled that you like my stuff I, I'm just glad that you are able to support me in doing it and having this be my full-time job because I couldn't do it without you all so thank you all ever so much and with your continued support I'll be able to do this for many many years to come as many years as is possible so thank you ever, ever so much, everyone. Seriously, thank you so much. Thank you. No, no problem, Magma. And whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope you achieve everything you set out to do. The next stream is tomorrow, 2 p.m. BST, Animal Crossing New Horizons, where we will continue our adorable adorableness with adorable and Nuss! Ooh, a pound And Tyrant slipping in a hundred bits there, super sneakily. How sneaky you are. The most sneaky. But seriously, thank you all ever so much. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. And remember, be nice to each other, everyone. For if everyone is nice to each other, the world would be that much better a place. And we all want that, don't we? Well, Mayhem. I certainly do. Yippee. And I hope you do too. Oh, Thrithlin sneaking in there with eight subs right at the end. That's 472 subs you've gifted so far. Thank you ever so much. That is so awesome of you. Thought you could get away with slipping it at the end, but no, I, 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 I spotted it. But seriously, you all rock. Thank you. Later. Maybe next time you won't lose loads of people to just running into a corridor with rats. It's probably going to happen. <laughs> Throw it with the steel chair! Yep. You're finally here, Ten Player! And I'm literally ending, which, uh, I'm sorry about. But, uh, great to have you here. Later.